Hello again, Sid Victor. Hello again, Northern Lion. We are here. It's uh, GeoGuessr Wednesday episode. You know, I'm I'm making a comeback. You I gotta are. say, it. over the past like eight, you've probably won six or five of them. Would be my yep. guess. I think five is is the accurate one. But hey, as long as we're making it, as long as it's coming back, like it's <laughs> it's getting more interesting and competitive again. I think that uh, we can both equally agree that's good for the series. <laughs> yeah, and I can tell you, it's uh, you got it. If you're, there was any week where you were going to be able to make up ground more easily, it's when I'm looking at this different monitor. It's like I'm playing an away game right now. It just right, feels I'll, weird. All right, I'm 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 flexed. I'm ready to go <laughs> after that. After Monday's game, I'm I'm ready to do it. All so, right. uh, well, let's do it. Three, two, one. Good luck. Good luck. Have fun. Diverse world. You've been awesome. Yeah. Servicio, servicio Publico. Dude, I feel like I should know that crest, as ridiculous as that sounds. Well, you should know the you should know the country just from the fact that the license plates are on the door. Uh, I don't, but really, yeah. But that's that's not a bad idea for a taxi to have its license plate on the door. Yeah, especially when they're calling you, and be like, "Hey, uh, I'm picking you up." You don't have to look for an Uber or like, you know, oh, is that you're looking for a black car in the sea of black cars for your <laughs> Uber ride. It's like, oh, yeah, I've got taxi number VXI 217. We are uh, finally getting ride sharing services. They've been legalized in Vancouver. And oh, they don't. I didn't know that they were they were banned. Yeah, we're like one of the only cities in North America, I think, that is kept them out um but they're gonna work very interestingly here because you need okay. a commercial driver's license in order to be able to drive for uber uh and i believe they also uber needs to adhere to the provincial minimum wage which they're probably not okay. going to be very happy about how do the do the are, is there like a taxi cab like union in yes. Vancouver, and like, okay. it's like very strong. Okay, yeah, because that's how it was in Houston, and, and they were there was a huge pushback against ride sharing services uh, for the longest time. I, uh, it's it's kind of frustrating to live in Vancouver and then hear people in other cities talk badly about Uber because I'm like, I agree, like there's a lot of problems potentially with uber you know people are working for way less than is like sustainable and taking on way too much risk the drivers are not necessarily vetted they could be terrible drivers but i'm also like every time i'm in a taxi i'm afraid for my life there's I've... i don't like taking taxis but i also don't like taking ubers either mm -hmm. unless i have to i i'm i'm wasting a lot of time here because i was i was being polite and letting you finish that <laughs> i'm looking at quite possibly the longest url i've ever seen really in mo in mobiliaria cortez mayo.com <laughs> it is a url that's about 25 characters and i have no idea what it's for but i'm going to assume it's for mobile stores or something or mobile phones or something there's a lot of mobile phone stores yeah i've noticed i don't know i'm just like you know, my when I get into an Uber in another city, I'm always like, yeah, this guy might kill me. There's a, <laughs> always a chance that, like, I'm going to be murdered. But I don't know. I, I kind of take that chance over the chance that I'm going to get in a, just an absolutely horrific accident getting to the airport 45 seconds than, earlier than I would have if they just drove, like, legally speaking. Right. I just... I. I... I never feel comfortable with walking into or, or like walking. It's like it's like walking to someone's house that you don't know. Like I hated doing that, doing like on like on site jobs when I was a IT tech. Mm, yeah, yeah. You know, it's there's something there's something just unsettling about just walking this, into this person's home that you've never you've never spoken to other than like from a customer to business standpoint. The same thing goes for, for Uber, like because it's not like you're walking. For those of you who don't know what Uber or any of the ride sharing is, first off, what's wrong with you? Secondly, uh, it's it's personal vehicles, so it's not like there's a fancy uniform taxi vehicle they are getting into. It's like their cars, and depending on where they are, oh wow, you actually you got me by a whole lot. Really, it was Columbia. 
I got bamboozled because I saw the SA. Well, Columbia's in SA. Yeah. But S- like South not America. like not yeah, not South America. I mean like SA is in like the state of Amazonas. Oh. Uh you got me by 2600. Really? Yeah. Man, oh, wow. I was that kicking was... myself cuz I was like I don't know what city it's in. And then I zoom in a little, it's the city that was on the name of all the taxis. Yeah, thought. I should have I should have looked for that. But I wasn't but the thing is I wasn't even looking at Colombia. I was looking in that uh like originally I was thinking in Venezuela because that's where if I recall correctly that's where people put the license plates on the side of their doors. But then I noticed that it was only the taxis. So I was like, well, it's probably not it's probably not Venezuela then because I only see the taxis doing it. So, it's a pretty good start for you Northern Line. Oh, I, dude. I'll take what I can get. The thing, I, I'm glad that Uber has gotten to the point where it's no longer, like, like, it, it felt like in, like, 2014. It's safe. Well, no, <laughs> like, the opposite, to some extent. It's like, when okay. I used to get into an Uber, I felt like it was always a dude in, like, a suit who's like, hey, I've got, like, there's bottles of water back there and, like, mints back there if you want them. I got some snacks if you want them. And, right. You know, right. now I'm like, whenever that happens, I'm just like, dude, stop spending your money on bottled water. <laughs> This is, I've I've seen the breakdown. You should just just get me to my destination, and for yep. God's sake, save your money. That's the the most important thing. The worst Uber drivers are the one that decide to interject in your conversations and stuff, and yeah, then like yeah, yeah. they get real festive and like they start singing Christmas carols to you, like a la Jaws: The Revenge. I have it's never like, had that happen. <laughs> it's like, it's like, dude. I'm glad that you that you're singing, but man, I, I've I've just had a day, you know. <laughs> I don't I don't really want to be sung to. Yeah, I Although, mean, I I'm I am one of those guys who's like, I would rather just not talk in the yeah in the cab. For sure, dude. I have it. There's a there's a top level domain here, but I can't freaking make it out because it's on a blurry sign. Dude, this is a this is a very interesting guess. I've seen some flags, obviously. Uh, I've seen some flags. But I don't know what they are, and it, it, sort of. Um, and then I also have seen. Uh, I mean, it it looks Russian or Eastern European, but yeah, I, it sort of also doesn't. Also, but this, this, this doesn't look like Russia, though. Have you seen the sign that says "Elite Internet," but "Elite" is no. in quotation marks? <laughs> <laughs> I saw a Korean uh, net or something like that. Oh, really? But, yeah, Korean net. Oh, dude, Temujin Judo Club. I oh, know snap. where we are. <laughs> what? Uh, we must be here. Okay, we've been we have been in a place before that has had looks like Russian but has a melting pot of of Asian, Korean, Russian places, which we, was always Mongolia. We absolutely have. I that was always Mongolia. That. Now that so, all I'm gonna say with respect to that is Temujin is Genghis Khan's birth name. Temujin, which is uh, the name of the judo club that I just passed. But we are not in China. Yeah, but Genghis Khan is Mongolian. Correct. Yeah, which is. Which I, that's where I was inferring. Exactly. In All right. Well, <laughs> I haven't seen the the elite internet yet. Yeah, I think maybe we went in different directions. I mean, I see quotation marks everywhere, but none of them say elite. <laughs> Did we ever figure what the Mongolian top level domain was? It wasn't mo. I know that it was like mx or no mz or something. Something crazy. Yeah, I don't know actually. I'll have to look that up after this episode if we remember. Of course, we can't even remember the score, so yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I doubt that we're going to retain anything. I just went for the biggest city. Yeah. I don't. I know it's not the capital. Uh oh. Well, hey, I'll take it. I got you by one hundred and seventy-five. Can I tell you something, Simvicta? You can. Ulaanbaatar is the capital. Okay, because that's the only place that we've ever had a Mongolian guest ever. So absolutely correct. You know, five stars. Shout out to my Mongolian peeps out there. I wonder if we have a Mongolian viewer watching this right now. 
I know for a fact I have one. For an absolute fact, I have one. It's, it's crazy, man. When you think about the size it, it of the world and the... Hold on. I got to put more music on. I guess I don't have my playlist on repeat. Okay. I apologize. Dude, just, just join the revolution. Put on the FTL soundtrack. Dude. It's it, not going to be claimed. I'm into... I, I should. I'll just tweet. <laughs> I'll tweet Ben Prunty and be like, hey, Yeah, man. just ask him. You know, I, you know, the, a guy that I, uh, I that I record <laughs> yeah. with, like, uh, he's been using yours like nonstop. He says for years. it's cool. Yeah, he says it's cool, but I just want to make sure. You know, <laughs> he's Did, like, yeah, you can use it, but not that Sinvicta guy. <laughs> Did you see? Um, oh, I love this. Many servicios. Um, yeah, and there's the YouTube logo painted on there. <laughs> what? Uh, what I was gonna say is, did you see that there's a game that just came out and it's called uh, Crying Sons? Yes, it is a pixel art uh, sci-fi roguelike or something. It looked it looked interesting. I got a key for that, but I haven't played it yet. You should check it out. Because really, it is very. Um, it's a lot like FTL, but like. I don't want to say a, a better FTL, because, I mean, I don't think you can say that until you got, like, you know, 500 hours in the game. But right. it's like a more advanced FTL. Like, right. the, the combat is a little bit more RTS-y while still having the FTL sort of style. And okay. uh, it, it's gorgeous as well. It's I, I it, it looked cool. I just it, it struck me as just one of those, like, retro for being retro. Everything's a roguelite now. I would sort of definitely, games. I would say, give it a second look. It's, I will. It I'll comes check it out. Highly recommended. But do keep in mind that you're going to be doing a lot of reading at first. Okay. Is it, so it's, it's pretty slow to start out it's, with. Though. It's lore and mechanic heavy to start with, for sure. Gotcha. Which I usually have very little patience for. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I always skip. Even like in lore heavy games, I just skip through the freaking. I just I just skip it. Yeah, <laughs> like it, it drives people. I, oh, I've been trying to me. get better with it. <laughs> I understand. I've been, I've been trying to get better with it just because like people like it, specifically speaking for the Lobotomy Corporation series was getting re they were getting real cheesed off by me just skipping stuff, and I recognize that it is important to people. So I'm I'm trying to get better. Um, I know where we are a hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yep, guaranteed. And it's be only because of a well, I'm not going to tell you why. <laughs> I, I'll. That is not this flag, this country. I'll, I'll yeah, keep. Yeah, did you see like a blue and white flag with stars and stripes? Yeah. yeah. It's not America. I can I can 100 percent confirm that. No, I know it's not America. <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out is whether or not it's Mexico or Costa Rica. I've seen. Where did uh, that sign go now? I think it's Mexico. Okay. Now, now I can't find the the sign that gave it away. I just have to stick with the idea that whenever there is uh, whenever there's no signs and instead the name is. is painted onto the actual building, it's usually Mexico. I really hope I'm not getting bamboozled because if I, if so, I'm gonna get real sad. But I'm almost a hundred percent certain. <laughs> that this is where we are because this is this lake is that lake it has to be and it was okay so i got you by 1800 mm -hmm. so there was a there was a a sign on a little mart that had lago atilan or yeah. At atilan or whatever and i started at um venezuela or Nicar no, oh, oh, yeah, I think it was Venezuela. And I started just looking for Lagos, and it started going up and up and up, and I found it towards Mexico. You know, if it's if it's stupid and it works, it isn't stupid. I'll take it. I think that might be the Guatemalan flag as well. Now that I, the stars and stripes one, it probably is. The, like blue and white with the yeah. It looks like the Canadian flag, but but it'd light be, blue. It'd be the Canadian flag if Canada tried to copy America's flag. <laughs> Mine look like the Argentinian, Argentinian flag. Yep. I'll tell you, I'm just going to call this. Of all okay. the guesses we've seen recently, this one is the most Canadian. 
I'm going to tell you right now, we're not in Canada. The rusted out guardrails make me feel like it's not Canadian. Uh, and this flag right here <laughs> is certainly, unless they went to Queen's University, um, <laughs> this one is, is this country right here, dude. I haven't seen the flag yet, but I know that we're not in Canada. I did see the road marker, and this particular color is always used in one of two countries in this place. I mean, we know we're in Europe. Yes. Put that way. I'm just waiting Why for the day that, that, like, I see a flag, <clears throat> but then it just ends up being like, a, this is just an example. It's not the flag I saw. But it, right. I'm, I'm, you're lucky because I'm. If you had taken this, you would have been way off. But um, <laughs> I just happened to drive by like a Kazakh restaurant or something like that, and then we're yep. actually in like you know, oh, it's Paris. Where is the? I know that we're in. I mean, I, I saw the flag too, by the way. You know the country that the flag is from? I do because this okay. because this flag is very distinct. Yes. I'm just looking for the road. Um, and that and you you know the country too, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. So Romania always has, it's either Romania or Turkey. They always have these little red markers next to their highway. And it, and the red just gives it away. I did not know that, actually. Red it markers may not, next to the highway. That may not hold true like as a, just a general blanket statement, but... I do know that anytime I see red on the on the little signs here, they uh, they usually point towards Romania. Now it's just finding the freaking actual the actual marker. Yeah, are you looking for Bali Alac? No, I'm just I'm looking for the actual just marker. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm looking for the marker, like the the number. Oh, there it is. Well, I, this I found the road, but now I need to find the. Marker number. Valley Alack. Yep. I have found the city that we're driving towards. Is the city called <laughs> Balia? If you see <laughs> Bali Alack. It's not. It's gotta be there there were so many tourists. It's gotta be right here. <laughs> I'm just putting it in. Yeah. Are, are you guessing now? I was off by fifteen kilometers, but Okay, well, let me make sure that my guess is there. Make a guess. You got me by 44. Okay. No, sorry, 56. That's the same location. Yeah. What's your score, though? Uh, Well, let me give that one a five-star first. Going into round five, I'm at 16,713. I'm at 17,376. Man, so close. I'm realizing, I think I'm just playing the same song over and over. <laughs> just get the FTL soundtrack. I don't know, I don't know, I'm old, I don't know how to use VLC Media Player. I just stream it on YouTube, man. I just, oh, I, really? I'm just playing it, I just play it on a, on a background, yeah. That one video, one tab open, that's it. <clears throat> oh, boy. Um, well, I mean. We've been here before. Oh, yes. Quite recently, I think. Although... Yeah, you might be right, actually. This it's always so... Be where I thought it was. It's always so hard to, like, tell. There, there's two well, places in the world that it's very difficult to tell exactly <clears> where <throat> you are. Southeast Asia is one of them. Sometimes South America is the other. Sometimes. Look, I'll just go ahead and say it. I don't think it's rude if you acknowledge that it's based on your own ignorance. I yes. have a hard time, not side by side, but if I only see one of them, I have a hard time distinguishing Thai from whatever the language on signs in India and Sri Lanka is. Mm -hmm. We say the same about, about Russian and, and Cyrillic guesses, though, too. Though, So, I mean, it's not... We're, we're being universally ignorant here. Yeah, it's not like, oh, hey, dumbass, why don't you uh, <laughs> why don't you make your alphabet more different? It's like, I don't live there, and I don't speak the language, so sometimes I have some trouble. <laughs> it's not, I'm not trying to be like, you know, I'm not trying to tell them how to do their languages. I'm just saying, 
<laughs> have mercy on me as well when it comes to me being confused sometimes. Yeah, I mean, just you know, just bear with us here. We're not we're not as cultured as as some other guessers might be. I'll tell you, I feel like I'm pretty cultured compared to some of the people who Most watch of these them. videos. Yes. And that's not meant as a value judgment, but what I took a we went out for uh, donkatsu, which is just like a fried pork cutlet. It's not tonkatsu. It's tonkatsu, donkasa. It depends on yukasa, mikasa. Um, yeah. Basically, my accent is bad, but <laughs> like, I got replies to the picture. Many, many people were like, "Can you please identify the the dish, dishes in this photograph?" As like one of the things was like miso soup, and one of the things was rice, and then one of the things was like. A piece of fried pork right and then there were pickles so I'm like dude <laughs> I gotta keep that in mind like anytime I get mad at people for being like how do you not know Spanish and Portuguese are different I'm like I'm my breadth of knowledge for a North American is up there above average at least yes I think so I, I mean you know we we do well we we do I, I would love to see how well we stack up against other content creators on any platform for GeoGuessr. I yeah, you know, I'm not saying that like we're the best in the world at GeoGuessr. No, no, sure. of course not. But like, you know, if, if you put like me or you up against like an average person from Canada or an average person from the US, we would absolutely destroy them. Yes, we and we've proven that in season 3. You know how I know that is everybody thinks that uh Every American and Canadian guest is right next to their house. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I live there. They're like on I... a road with six trees. They're like, this is just down the street. Yeah. Uh, uh, that sucks. What happened? It wasn't even close. You, I went, were you in I went, India? Yeah, because I was hanging around Sri Lanka. I wasn't yeah. sure if it was Cambodia. I, I knew for, I, well, I didn't know, but I was pretty sure it wasn't Thailand. Uh, Man, it's just it's just those characters, man. They just yeah, throw me no, off, dude. I'm with you. And we had nothing to go on, like yeah, except we for had, a couple of signs. Yeah, I mean, if we knew the if we knew the language, then we had plenty of going on. But uh, you know, we've already talked about this one before. But yeah. Northern Lion throwing up over a 21 k -er again, taking taking one of my wins back away, man. So. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, well done. That's a, that was know. a tough round. That was a tough round. <laughs> it really was. None of those were were very easy. Mongolia, Romania, Guatemala. I mean, we had Colombia. we had freaking the Colombian one was was just that that was really what what hurt me bad. Yeah. Um. Thankfully, I didn't go north. Like I didn't go towards like Argentina, like I originally was thinking about doing. But uh, yeah, well done. Good game. Well, stop the bleeding for a bit. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And uh, check out multiple perspectives. Show your support. We'll keep the series going. For now, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya. See you later.